big weekend this yes. weekend because this weekend some <laughs> of our best local spellers are going to face off at the CBS Bay Area Spelling Bee. It's a big one. The winner will compete in the Scripps National Spelling Bee near Washington, D.C. And tonight, Sharon Chin introduces us to the person with perhaps the hardest job at the bee, a man who's been described both, at, both as the spellers' friend and foe. You couldn't steal. You could steal. Dr. Jacques Bailey, the voice of the Scripps National Spelling Bee, has served as its official pronouncer since 2003. I enjoy words. I enjoy encouraging the, the kids to study. Spellers hang on his every syllable, and every year, some try to pry more clues than he'll give. Is there any information I can get out of you? What else can I ask? They want to buy a vowel, they ask me how it's spelled, they ask me to sing it. As a 14 year old, he won the trophy in 1980, so he understands the pressure. Howdy. Howdy ho. 2015 contestant Mira Suresh of Santa Clara says he's a cheerleader. He genuinely wants to help the spellers as best as he can, making them feel comfortable. But Dr. Dr. Bailey himself says he doesn't really get nervous, in part because he practices year-round and draws from his work at the University of Vermont. I teach Greek and Latin, and I know French and German, and so that helps me be prepared. But he does admit some words are trickier than others. And apparently you're supposed to say iron, according to the dictionary, and I always say iron, and they always make fun of me. And he'll have a little fun too, promoting the competition that's generated many memorable moments. It's our doodle gum. One of his favorites? <laughs> when a, a young man named Kenya Awad got the word sardoodledum. Sardoodle. <laughs> he thought it was just the funniest word. He just couldn't stop giggling. And though he won't divulge details, Dr. Bailey does acknowledge there is a secret committee that reviews the words for the giggle factor. Occasionally, there's a word that we don't want to use because it might sound like some other words that we don't want to say. Numbnut. <laughs> but offstage, students try to get the last laugh, requesting he spell really long words. There are these hippo monstro sesquipedalian words that um, they found somewhere. The buzz is he enjoys being the official pronouncer with no plans to retire. I get a front row seat at a great event. Sharon Chin, KPIX 5. And KPIX 5 and KCBS Radio will host the regional spelling bee here in our studios this weekend. You can watch it live at noon on KBCW 44 Cable 12. The winner will represent the Bay Area at the national competition in May. And if you can't wait until Saturday, we have a Facebook exclusive posted now. We asked the spellers, what is your favorite word? Their answers may surprise you. That's on our Facebook page under KPIX.